Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition for over 70 years. Today, we'll be demonstrating the installation of our second generation wireless air onboard air compressor system on a 2017 Chevy 2500 HD. Installation may take up to three hours to complete using common mechanics tools. If you've purchased wireless air with the easy mount bracket, installation will only take about one and a half hours. Remember, this overview doesn't replace your installation guide. Grab yours out of the box and let's get started. Installing this system does not require you to lift the vehicle or remove any tires, but you may find it helpful depending on your make and model. For filming purposes, we'll be using a drive-on vehicle hoist. All wireless air kits include the following components. A wireless controller, a free mobile app to control the system, a manifold, wiring harness, compressor, and all the accessories needed to connect the system to vehicle power, as well as to the air springs, which can be purchased separately. Begin by planning your mounting locations on the vehicle. Be sure to keep all wiring, airline, manifold, and compressor at least six inches away from heat sources, such as the exhaust. If you've purchased wireless air with the easy mount bracket, use the provided U-bolt to fasten the easy mount securely to the vehicle. The easy mount bracket can also be attached using the provided self-threading bolts or be secured using existing holes in the vehicle frame. If you do not have the easy mount, you'll need to determine two locations to place the manifold and air compressor, both within reach of the electrical harness and no more than 16 inches apart. We recommend in front of the rear axle. Use the included hardware to mount the compressor. It can be mounted in any orientation. Assemble the compressor inlet filter by twisting on the fitting. Tighten with a wrench, then attach the hose. Mount the compressor inlet filter in a dry location, shielded from direct wheel or road splash. Ensure that the filter is mounted with the hose vertical, with the inlet filter pointing upward. Route the airline from the inlet air filter to the compressor. Measure and cut the airline, then attach to the inlet port of the compressor. The manifold can be mounted in any orientation except upside down, or with the logo upside down. Once you've picked a location for the manifold, Use the included self-tapping screws to mount the manifold. When connecting the wiring harness to the manifold, press the connector on completely until you hear a click. Cut off the terminals on the red and black compressor wires and connect them to the short wires on the wiring harness using butt connectors. Apply a heat source to properly secure the butt connector. Route and install an air line from the compression fitting on the compressor to the left side port of the manifold. Be sure to route the air lines to the air springs before connecting the wireless air system to the vehicle battery. Cut your air line using a hose cutter or sharp razor blade in order to get a clean cut. Cutting the line in any other way will leave a jagged edge and ruin the hose. Wireless air is a dual path system, so each air spring will be controlled from a different port on the manifold, allowing the user to compensate for off-center loads. Route air lines from port 1 and 2 of the manifold to the corresponding air spring location. Port 1 should be directed to the driver's side air spring, while port 2 should be directed to the passenger's side air spring. To tie in the wireless air system between the corresponding air spring location and the Schrader valve, find a convenient location along the air line, make a cut to your existing line, and place a T-fitting to connect the three air lines. Repeat this process for both sides. Finish by routing the wiring harness from the manifold and compressor location to the battery. Attach the red battery power wire to the included fuse holder using the butt splice connector. Then, attach a supplied ring terminal to the other end of the fuse holder and fasten it to the positive battery terminal or stud. Attach another ring terminal to the black ground wire and fasten to the negative battery terminal or stud. Finally, install the supplied 15 amp fuse into the fuse holder and close the cap. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com and our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.